Stephen King's Dark Tower is getting a TV adaptation. What is up, everybody? It's Phil from Zade Comics. I am a comic writer. But today, we are talking about not comics. Well, it was a comic at one point. But first, it was an incredible novel series. Um, I actually just started reading this. I'm on book two right now of the Dark Tower series. Um, and it all started with this one, The Gunslinger, which is awesome. I was encapsulated by this story. It's like nothing I've ever seen or read before so many different genres and as we'll see in this article notably one of the hardest book series to be adapted in any live action screen um so let's get into it here shall we uh, this was earlier this month december 8th 2022 uh, it's a deadline interview between Mike Flanagan and Trevor Macy, who are writers, directors. They used to work at Netflix. That's what the, the most of this story is about. They left for Amazon, but recently it has come out that uh, in, in, in this interview that they've had the rights to Stephen King's Dark Tower series. Uh, in an interview with Deadline, Flanagan and Macy, known for their extensive film and TV work in the horror genre, break the news that they've acquired the rights to the Mammoth book series, which draws from multiple genres, including dark fantasy, science fantasy, horror, and Western. Flanagan reveals that he has written a pilot script and season outlines for The Dark Tower, which is described for years as his dream project. He has even shared uh, in his interview, his vision for the opening shot, uh, a black screen with the words, the man in black fled across the desert and the gunslinger followed. Now, those are the first lines of the first book, uh, leading to a landscape with a silhouette in the distance. Multiple studios attempt to bring Dark Tower to the screen and film slash TV adaptation over the past decade. The 2017 a movie with Idris Elba starring in it, which it's a fun action flick, but I mean, there's just so much in the series that you can't encapsulate in one film. Having previously done two featured adaptations of King's books, he they did Dr. Sleep and Gerald's Game, which two films that I really enjoyed, um, both directed and written slash co-written by Flanagan. Their final thing at Netflix, which I... I'm actually excited about is uh, Edgar Allan Poe's. They're doing a limited series of Fall, The House of Usher, which is a, a classic Poe horror story. Um, so that's interesting. I'll probably check that out. So Deadline asked them, speaking about projects, well known IPs, there's something in the future for you guys. This is where they talk about Gunslinger, The Dark Tower, uh, saying, Flanagan saying, You're the first person we're saying it to, but yes, we've required the rights to the Dark Tower, uh, which if you know anything about me, it's the holy, holy grail of projects for most of my life. We actually have those rights carved out uh, out of our Amazon deal, which doesn't mean they can't or won't be behind uh, it at some point. So it's not strictly going on Amazon. This is something they have um, acquired before the two guys going over there. So let's just talk about this series. Just in the first two books, I'm not even done with the second book yet. Just what happens in the second book, I couldn't conceive it, conceive seeing it in a live action way. Um, and this book's been out for a while, but the main character, it, it's all about kind of like this multiverse, right? The multiverse that as the series unfolds, I understand that it kind of connects all of Stephen King's, a lot of Stephen King's stories that are really famous. Um, but our main character is in this limbo area where he could reach into other dimensions, go into people's heads, take control of their bodies uh, through a metaphysical doorway that appears in front of him. So these are crazy large concepts that you would have to nail in live action. It would be so, I think, 
difficult to even conceptualize the visual aspects of this series, but these guys seem really passionate about this. And as we'll go through the article here, you'll see that they have the blessing of Stephen King. Uh, the deadline goes on. How far along are you in the development? Uh, Mike, you have shared your Dark Tower vision in interviews. You must have at least have a synopsis. So they're talking about you know the work on this. Uh, they have a pilot. We view it as a series that is going to be at least five seasons. And having lived with this project as long as I have, I have an enormous amount of work uh, of it worked out in my brain. But I have the pilot script. I'm thrilled and a very detailed outline of the first season and a broader outline of the subsequent seasons. Uh, he goes on to talk about how he would like to bring in other writers down the line if everything works out, people he's, he's worked with in the past. Uh, I'll tell you, uh, more than half my life, I've closed my eyes and watched a lot of this play out. I've dreamed about this. He already has this very visceral vision. Uh, the pilot script is one of my favorite things that I've ever gotten to work on. It's been surreal working on that. And we've been floored and grateful with Stephen King's trust with us in undertaking something that is precious to him. Um, they wants to do a great job at it. And I think that's the next question, you know, conversations with Stephen King. Um, and they go on. Flanagan says, absolutely, this happened because I sent him a very detailed outline. Now, this is really interesting. Sending, I don't know what their relationship before this, um, you know, acquisition was. But this guy sent him an outline of the series uh, that he wants to turn into, you know, a television series. Uh, and in response, he gave us the rights. So almost like a fan art thing, you know, coming from the world of comics. It's like, here, I drew your character or uh, a, um, you know, fan fiction. It's like, hey, man, I worked on this and I really like it. And I wrote this out. What do you think of it? And they got the rights to uh, adapt it into a series really cool uh, a project like this i wouldn't want to be involved in um if we're taking in a direction that was blasphemous to stephen king's material so already in this interview awesome they are really into this stuff stephen king's on board with it um it's gonna be a long road because i know a lot of people adore this series i'd mentioned to someone that i was reading the series and they said that the sixth book or the fifth book, like the series is great, but the fifth book is the worst book they've ever read, which we'll see when I get there. But, uh, uh, and then after that, I guess they get uh, better again. Initially for more than, a, uh, more than a decade ago, there were grand plans for a Dark Tower uh, integrated film and TV universe. Is your adaption strictly TV series? Now this is really interesting too, um, because he goes on to say that, you know, he has the five seasons plotted out. Uh, let me just read this. Well, I'll be honest, the way I have seen it breaking down into five seasons of television, followed by two standalone features. Now, everything's so weird now, right? It would be interesting if those standalone features do come out in theaters. I would imagine they would just be another straight to streaming thing, unless this becomes very popular, and then you'd have it streaming, and then also some the theatrical releases. So we've seen that in the past as well. He goes on to say, but I think our priority has been trying to get the television side going first. We're not uh, trying to put the cart ahead of the horse too much uh, on such a challenging project. There you have it. That's really awesome news. I'm excited about it because I'm just delving into this universe and uh, I can't wait to see where that goes. I would suggest delving into it as well because if this becomes a big thing, Jump on board. This is some awesome writing, awesome storytelling, high T action. I mean, the action is kick ass in this book. If you're not a novel reader, like I'm not a huge novel reader, but just hearing uh, the pacing of the action in here is really inspiring. Also, Stephen King's use of simile and description is very motivating, very inspiring as a writer. If you guys are into stuff like Dark Tower and the Gunslinger in action, uh, then you got to head over to ZadeComics.com. We have a bunch of comics over there. I write them all. So if you're into that dark fantasy action stuff, uh, supernatural, superheroes, uh, definitely pick up the Lost Pages, which is 
uh, kind of like my Universe of Heroes, a, a big running series. And we're coming out with the Lost Pages 3 very soon, which you can sign up for right here on Indiegogo. You'll be the first to know when it launches. You're going to get a exclusive free foil trading card. And this one is all about uh, imaginary friends and mental mind games. We have our character here, Jazz, who's a, a vigilante who reconnects with her childhood imaginary friend. And his name is Krim. He's a hulking, badass, uh, balls to the wall, uh, always trying to get into a fight. And uh, when he's around, she gets superpowers. So uh, definitely stay tuned. Check this out. Lots of awesome action. Amazing art. Uh, I'm so excited to get this one out to you guys. So uh, hit that like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Let me know down in the comment, have you read the Dark Tower series? Uh, have you seen the movie that's come out? Are you interested in it? And uh, anything else that's on your mind, just leave it down below. We will see you next time with another video. I want you to know it's over. Well. Bye.